Welcome back. That was a clip from Catherine called Birdie, which is in theaters now and streaming on Amazon Prime Video this Friday. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. I love everything you do. I love everything you've ever made. I think this is right up there. You directed the, uh, you directed the film. You wrote the screenplay. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what it's about. It is about a girl in the year 1290, a young woman named Catherine who is living her carefree childhood and then she gets her period and her parents decide that it's time to marry her off and she's like, oh heck no, and it's about her battle to maintain her autonomy. So it's literally a period piece about getting your period. <laughs> it's a period, period piece. <laughs> that's what I would. That's what I have like, to why offer. Why did they world. not go with that on the poster? <laughs> I genuinely a period, period asked, piece. or I thought you could just do. It's a period piece with a big old period, and everyone was like, "Why don't we not lean so hard into the period? Into the period in cinemas once a month." Yeah, yeah. That's, really good. <laughs> that's so good. Now you, the book, it's, the film is based on. <laughs> it's based on a book that I know meant a great deal to you yeah. as a child. Your, I imagine your parents must have been very excited when they heard that you were going to direct this adaptation, this film? I don't think my parents are ever that excited about right. anything that I do. Mm. But the problem is that if I mention them, I say, oh, my God, my parents, you know, helped sculpt me, and they read this to me as children, and they told me, you know, go for it. They're like, we didn't say that. But if I don't mention them, I'm also in trouble. Right. So, like, there's no way I can get this right. Yeah. But I think, like, everything I do, they're like, oh, her again. <laughs> <laughs> is the vibe. And then my younger brother, like, eats a sandwich and they're like, can you believe? That, really, you're yeah. just like, he's amazing. He's amazing. And I'm just some lady again. <laughs> now, so this is a great example of necessity is the mother of invention. Something called, I want to talk to you about this, uh, something you... called a new fashion trend sweeping the world, the yes. sweater leg covers. Yes. What's the story behind wow. this? Why, what's happening here? Talk me through all of this. So I'm, I'm in Cannes and uh, I want to go into this club and they won't let me go in without, because I have on shorts. And I, you know, I just, uh, I, I saw some girls with some sweaters and was like, hey, you're not going to wear that in there, are you? And so I took their sweaters and wrapped it around my leg, very fashion forward, very, mm. Very Alexander McQueen, you know, a lot of... This is... A lot of the new people do it. All the yeah, kids, you know. Sweater leggings. Unbelievable. Sweater leggings. Sweater leggings. Sweater leggings. And you can just pop anything you want into those little sweater leggings. Yeah, you got sweater leggings. You can do all kinds of stuff. You got some of the pockets. So what, I did, had, the like, bounce, what, did, the, what did the doorman say when you arrived? He, he, he said, whoa, that's, that's very hip. And I was like, yes. <laughs> These are sweater leggings, bro. And then so, and he was gonna let me in. He just told me I couldn't take them off the whole time. And that's where the problem was, because they they kept sliding down. <laughs> well, you if had we it can get a, If we can get a tighter prototype, I'm just saying I would invest. You would do, okay, good. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm actually coming out hey, with the whole next line. Next week, let's go to Shark Tank. <laughs> Yeah. And pitch this, the three of us. Hashtag, yes, yes. hashtag sweater leggings. The yes. most unexpected combination in show business, <laughs> pitching the most I unexpected item in fashion. Yes. I disagree. They I actually it. think it's completely right. Reggie, do you have a question for our guests this uh, evening? Yeah. Uh, most of you are experienced uh, in many different things in life. Uh, are you both highly into virtual reality? During COVID, I did purchase some virtual reality goggles because my friend told me that during the same day, he'd both been to um, the uh, fjords in Iceland and then been inside a porn. And I was like, yeah, yeah I'll try. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I never took them out of the box. I'm not going to no, lie. Yeah. I never took them out of the box. You want I'm, to? I'm afraid I'll never come back out. <laughs> yeah. And virtual reality, Cedric? And virtual reality, is that a real reality? Because I'm in it. <laughs> I don't know. I think you might be in it right now. I think so. Reg? Uh, Reggie, come. Oh, sorry. Yes, um, yes, that's true. Come Everything high five you just me said. and see if our hands just go right through each other. It's <laughs> absolutely true. Please thank our guests, Lena Dunham, Cedric the Entertainer, Ryan Tedder from One Republic will be here right after this.